Hi there! You are watching a video of above ground storage tanks in industrial plants. The bottoms of vertical cylindrical storage tanks are generally welded fabricated using steel blades. The bottom shall rest on a rigid ground structure such as concrete, sand or asphalt, which supports the weight of the static head of the product. In addition, the aim of the bottom is to ensure the sealing of the product, avoiding leaks from the base. The design of the bottom of storage tanks depends on the following considerations. The foundation used to support the tank, the method used for emptying the tank, the degree of sedimentation of suspended solids and the corrosion of bottom plates and the tank size. The bottom of a tank can adopt one of the following configurations. Bottom down, generally used for tanks with conical fixed roof. The drainage of the tank is located at the central port. And bottom up, mainly used in tanks with floating roofs. In these cases, three or four drainages are located near the tank shell. Next, we will review the arrangement and thickness of the bottom plates. Plates used for bottoms can be joined according to the following. Using overlapped joints with fillet welds or with bad joints where a full penetration weld must be used. Overlapped joints are the preferred alternative for the fabrication of bottoms of storage tanks mainly due to its easy assembly and reduced cost. The arrangement of plates should guarantee a minimum overlapping of 305 mm. The main purpose of the bottom plates is to guarantee the seal tightness of the tank, and considering that these plates do not have to withstand the hydrostatic pressure of the fluid, they require significantly smaller thicknesses than the shell plates. A 1.5 mm thickness metal sheet, or less, will be able to withstand the bending and compressive loads generated in the outside part of the tank by the weight of the shell resting on this section. However, to prevent deformations when welding, plates with a minimum thickness of 6 mm according to the requirements of the API 650 standard shall be used. The shell bottom joint is one of the most critical parts of a storage tank. The design of the welds used in this joint must be strong enough to withstand the local stresses. The bottom diameter will be larger than the outer diameter of the tank, in at least 51 mm over the width of the fillet weld of the shell bottom joint. Depending on the tank diameter, the bottom plate arrangement may adopt different configurations. The main aspect to bear in mind when defining the fabrication procedure is the fact that plates will suffer a deformation after welding. Unless otherwise stated, plates for bottom fabrication must be at least 1800 mm wide. The weight of the tank, mainly the shell and roof, could be supported either by bottom plates or by an annular plate. Annular plates are used mainly to reduce the effect of stress concentration at the shell bottom joint. The use of a thicker annular ring plate under the tank shell is prescribed by the API 650 standard. With this plate, the effect of differential settlement of the bottom of the tank is reduced and the resistance against overturning moments induced by external loads is increased. 
Externally, annular plates must adopt a circular shape, while internally, they can adopt circular or polygonal configurations. Generally, annular plates follow the polygonal approach for the internal side. The annular plate is required in the following cases. When the material of the shell belongs to groups 4, 4A, 5 or 6, and for tanks with diameters bigger than 30 meters and temperature higher than 93 degrees. When annular plates are required, the width shall be determined by using the equation shown in the picture, but not less than 600 mm between the interior of the tank and the nearest welded joint, leaving a 51 mm projection outside of the tank. The recommended width of the annular plate is a function of the annular plate thickness, the maximum liquid level, and the specific gravity of the fluid. Depending on the tank shell's first course thickness and depending on the induced stress in this same element, the IPA 650 standard indicates the minimum thicknesses of annular plates.